Uh, just to open, uh, I, I thought uh, when I saw how we approached the first half, um, I thought we were, we were doing quite well uh, possession-wise, and uh, and we created a couple of uh, a couple of uh, chances. Um, but in the in the second half, uh, we we certainly became uh, careless with the ball, and uh, we seem to we seem to die physically. And uh, the, the the Peruvian team uh, uh, speeded up their their, their, their play. Um, they got the first goal. Um, you know they worked worked hard for it, but I, I thought it was uh, preventable. And then and then the second goal, of course, uh, changed the whole the whole outlook of the game. Questions? Do you think that the the halftime change of Jackson and uh, uh, Johnson? Was that the to the loss? No, not particularly. Um, I, I felt that we were keeping possession, but not uh, not penetrating. And uh, everybody seemed to, to just want the, 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 the ball to foot and be comfortable with that. And uh, we, we, we lacked a bit of penetration. So so I thought if I if I uh, you know I, I bring on Josh Simpson, I, I would I would get something, especially down the left side. And um, and uh, it's the same thing on the on the opposite side. But if you if you analyze the, the two goals, it didn't really come from that. It it came from some some defending mistakes and eh? errors. Mm -hmm. Steven, as a national team coach, you only get to see these players once in a blue moon. You spoke about a lack of penetration. How do you start to instill that attacking confidence in these guys? Well, it, it's it's not so much that. It's uh, when when we when in the first half. When, when we kept the ball and we moved the ball quickly, uh, we caused Peru trouble. And uh, but in, in the second half, I thought both uh, wide players Simeon and uh, and uh, Will 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 come in too deep to, to get the ball. And, and then what happened is we, we end up with more or less playing football in the midfield. And uh, Rob got isolated up front, and, and uh, we, we just we just failed to to penetrate. And uh, you know the, the, the overall quality of our passing deteriorated in the second half. We we made a lot of mistakes, and and uh, when when you play a, a, a team of the caliber of Peru, who, whose uh, game uh, is based a lot on on, on the counter attack, and you give away the ball, you're going to pay the price. What's your evaluation of uh, Simeon and going forward? Do you see him? Kind of used out on the wing as opposed to up front. Is that well, it was a little experiment. Um, we, we 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 tried to get something different uh, out on the on the right side. Um, you know, he's uh, to to be fair to him, he 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 has to learn to 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 play there a little more, probably a little more games in in the assessment of it. Um, but he was he was willing to try, and and at times I saw some good things, uh, good things. Um, but then again, he's, he's going to go away, and, <laughs> and we have to start again. Los mejores jugadores del equipo canadiense fueron de Rosario y de Guzman, two best players from the new team. They will not play now in Montreal. So how do you want to replace him? How, what do you think for the next game? Um, well, uh, you know, we, 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 we thought long and hard about this and and one of the things that we, we've been saying all along is that um, we, we want to give players uh, the opportunity to, to prove themselves and, and, and to show that they, are, uh, they can fight for selection. Um, I think it's, it's fair to say that uh, Julian and, uh, and uh, Dwayne are part of the core of the team. And uh, so, so now it will be the players turn to, to step in and play. So, so. Before the match, you talk about uh, Vargas and Parfani, the Peruvian team. What do you think about them today and about other players? Did you like the uh, new <laughs> I like names? A, I like a lot of players. <laughs> um, <laughs> they, they, I, I, like, I like how they played, how they adjusted in the second half. Um, they pushed on the four players on, on top of our defense. Fafan, in particular, was finding space between the midfield and the uh, and our back line. And um, and of course, when the ball came to him, technically, poof, he didn't he didn't Fafan. give it. To, yeah, 
he didn't he didn't give it away. He never lost it even when the space was tight. Eh? And of course Vargas is uh, at another level altogether. That's why he's at Fiorentina. You know, um, he 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 played a very disciplined game. Uh, he knew exactly when to go forward, when to hold his position. I was also <coughs> impressed with uh, the the left back, the number four. Um, I, I thought he he recognized that um, that Simeon and and uh, Ian Hume to some extent were not going to try to get behind him. He got tight to them and didn't let them uh, pick up the ball in any space whatsoever. So. Hey, it's a it's a quality team we played against. We learned we learned some lessons today. Last question, from Paul. What did you? Uh, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. Players are just starting to come out. What makes them? Just, what did What did you make of the crowd and the level of support for your team? The crowd. Um, you know, we, we had uh, all all credit to uh, the, the the group, the Voyagers group, uh, the the. The, the, the big banner, the 2014, and they, they made noise, and but it was still a, a huge, huge uh, Peruvian crowd there as well, and uh, I guess that's something we have to, to live with uh, being in, in multicultural Canada. Would you like to take any more questions? Uh, Stephen, where's the disconnect? Because this is the city that draws 20,000 people a week in, week out for soccer. But when we get the best 11 players in the country together, there's, there's no interest. Is it a marketing issue? How do you see it? I couldn't answer that. I, I really couldn't answer that. I, 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 uh, I mean, people said that you have to start getting results and people will come in. Um, fair comment. Fair comment. It's uh, the fifth straight game with 10,000 plus for men's national team, which is the first for us. How's Marcel? Shoulder is broken. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say that he's at the hospital, but it looks so. You, you talked about having uh, some a uh, couple of objectives coming into these these two friendlies. Did you did you meet them? Well, look, uh, when we came into the friendlies, I, I wanted us to yes play a certain ball possession, but but learn to speed up the play in the attacking third, and uh, and uh, to look to penetrate. Uh, I, w I was very concerned, and I'm still concerned that we've played uh, uh, what five five games now with uh, only one goal being scored, and um, that's that's unacceptable, you know. And I don't I don't want uh, the players to fall into a habit of thinking that it's 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 okay not to not to come away with the result. Coach, <clears throat> you just said, you know, fifth game you're. You're looking to penetrate some penetration from your team, and from up above, it looked as if uh, Rob Friend was left up there all alone, as if that was a tactical decision almost. They, with with uh, guys like Simeon falling back too deep, were you constantly on them to? Uh, from the sideline to try to. Well, I, I don't know if you could hear me on the sideline, well, but, but, right but uh, I, I was keep. I kept trying to tell them to to, to stretch the, the defenders, and look to get behind, and uh, you know, I'm screaming, screaming, but uh, it was it was certainly not a tactic. Uh, Dwayne was supposed to play close to to Rob. Uh, Simeon, we were hoping to to stretch uh, the, the the left back, uh, mix up his play. And I actually sent um, um, I sent on Josh Simpson with that instruction, and uh, he they just keep coming and ask for the ball to feet. And when you play good teams and you only come come to the ball, come to the ball all the time, they're going to squeeze the space you play in. Coach, I just wanted to clarify: Are you not playing Julian and Dwayne on Tuesday? Is that like a for sure? Or well, we're going to go into dressing room and and, and talk about that, but. Um, um, I, I think they will go back to the club.